What's up, YouTube? I'm the Cal Car 131, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the LA Police Gear CMP TAC Tactical Flashlight. LA Police Gear CMP TAC from here on out going to be called the CompTAC. Pretty decent box. On the back, some of the specs. Oh god, cat. No, trying to record. Stay off the table. <laughs> uh, some of the info here it has a luminous SST40 LED, uh, one 18650 battery included, max is 1600 lumens, two selectable illumination modes. We'll go over all this later, but uh. As you can see, the different illumination modes and their runtime. Turbo, 1600 lumens for two hours, all the way down to a moonlight mode. I would call it a moonlight mode, candle mode, whatever you want to call it. 10 lumens for 150 hours. Candela, 50,000 candela. And that really right there is the main uh, reason that I actually got this. For a $40 flashlight, for the record, if I haven't talked about it yet, this is a $40 flashlight. $39.99. 1600 lumens. With almost 51,000 candela, that's pretty impressive. One meter impact resistant, the weight is 120 grams, which comes out to uh, 4.2, I believe, ounces. That is, however, kind of uh, shady, considering that's without the battery. With the battery in it, as you should be seeing right here, it's more like 6.1, 6.2. Dimensions, IPX8 waterproof. out comes with a couple extra o-rings there's always convenient directions you can pause here if you want to look at them more in depth but come on lanyard comes with a charging cable. It is unfortunately micro USB. LA Police Gear needs to kind of get with the times and switch over to USB-C, but hey, admittedly, everybody has hundreds of these little things running around. Cat, get away from my... I appreciate the help, but here is the light. LA Police Gear, compact. I, I'm assuming that stands for compact tactical light. Center is a fairly compact light the head's pretty big as you can see it's a pretty wide head but la police gear compact little uh, u.s flag on that's about it now initially when you first get this i've already done this but when you first get this you will have a little uh plastic sort of piece right here to stop it from turning on in the packaging just take that out remove it you should be good to work it the tails or not the tail switch the uh pocket clip here will twist right here when you have the back cap off Put it back on, little o-ring right there, screw this on, it tightens down on it and you can't move it. You can also remove the head, once again another o-ring right here, and this is also how you can get to the battery, you can get to it either way, but micro USB charging port on the actual battery itself, 18650, 3.7 volt. And it does have uh, reverse polarity protection on it, so even if you put it in the wrong way and you turn it on, you don't have to worry about it frying any of the electronics or anything. But it should be pretty simple to remember which way it goes in. Remove the head and you can always see the uh, charging port, so. Demonstrating some lighting modes for the CompTAC here. As you can see, yes, this is after, this is recorded after the uh, reliability test, but it's going to be showing before the reliability test. Want to see how it did, if there's any problems, stick around. Anyway, I have it in the uh, illumination mode, which is to say, press tail cap, turns on, press it again, goes to medium. Last, sorry, that's low. This is medium. This is high. Keep pressing it. It'll keep cycling through low, medium, high. Double press it. Goes to turbo. Turn it off. Hold it for half a second. Turns off. When you have it turned off, uh, hold it. And this is on the, like I like to call it the like moonlight mode. You can see it just barely works. Like 10 lumens. Press it again, low, medium, 
high, turbo. It does have a memory setting, so if I turn this up to high, turn it off, it'll come back on high. And illumination mode is also how you get to the fancy uh, strobe SOS beacon modes. So illumination mode, double press, go to turbo. Now double press again, we get strobe, double press one more time, we get SOS, wait for it to go through it one more time. Double press again, goes to beacon. I don't really understand the point of the beacon mode. It's just like every 10 seconds it barely flashes. Wait for it to go through one more time. There we go. Double press again. Go back to turbo. Same thing. Long press to go off. The switch between the modes to go from illumination, which is currently in, over to tactical, press it seven times. The light will flash six times. And now you're in tactical mode, so press it once. Turns on to turn off, unlike illumination, you don't have to hold for half a second, just normal, on, off. In tactical mode, double press, strobe, long press, momentary, quick press, stays on, but it also has a lockout mode, so press it three times. You can see the light will flash three times. Now it's locked out. Press it. It won't turn on. Long press. Nothing. You can get it out of lockout mode. Press it again three times. Flash once. Now we're back on. Water testing the LA Police Gear CompTAC flashlight. So the CompTAC is rated IPX8. Now, while as I understand it, there's no actual like universal standard for what IPX8 actually means. It's generally regarded as something along the lines of like three meters for an hour or something like that. Now, unfortunately, the koi pond here is not quite three meters deep. It'd be great if it was, but it's not quite. Here in the center, roughly around like three and a half, four feet, a couple steps, bring it up a little bit, but let's go with four feet. It is two o'clock, so I'll throw it in here. It's on. We'll come back in about an hour, check and see if it's still working. All right, so 3.01, right at three o'clock. Time to check it. Spoiler alert, I can look in the pond and see the light's still on so I know it works, but. No issues at all. Go over the beam on the uh, LA Police Gear Comp Tack here. What you're seeing right now is the uh, low, super low mode. I guess I call it like a moonlight mode. There's only 10 lumens. Target you can kind of see out there is uh, about right around 30 yards away. But as you can see, again, super low, only 10 lumens, not much. Click it. We go up to low. This is, I believe, 50 lumens. You can see that target a bit better now. You can see that there's a person there. Still not super bright though. Bump it up to medium. 150 lumens. You can see it pretty well now. Lightened up pretty well in person. I can very clearly tell it is a it's an it's an outline of a target. I cannot really tell he's holding a gun. The target I'm using in his right hand, so on the left hand of the target as we're seeing it, he is holding a uh, handgun. It you can't really tell, but I can definitely tell it's a person there. So let's click it again and go up to high. This is, I believe, 500 lumens. If, if I get that wrong, I'll uh, throw them up on screen what it actually is. It looks like comparing the two on uh, the camera, the camera makes it seem a bit brighter than what it is in real life. And there we go, that's, that, that's the big one right there. Turbo mode, so 1600 lumens with uh, 50,900 candela, I believe. Now, comparing it again in person versus the camera, it is definitely brighter on the camera. It's adjusting it somehow. But in person, it is absolutely bright enough. I can definitely tell, obviously, I can tell it's a person there. And I can kind of start to make out that he's holding something on his uh, right side. But once again, there's a pretty decent hot spot here. But as you move off, I can move probably 10 yards off the... Uh, target and I can still illuminate the target with this build pretty well 
turn you off. This is a Mod Light PLH V2. Now this one has, I think this is also again because of the not shattered lens, but you can see a very much more defined edge to the hot spot and the spill. But now some of you might be wondering, why am I comparing a Mod Light to the CompTAC considering the Mod Light, spoiler alert, costs literally like seven times as much as this CompTAC. Well, I mean, that's because if you see them side by side, despite only being 40 bucks, there's not that much difference, guys. The CompTAC over here on the left, Mod Light on the right. So as you can see, they are really similar. The CompTAC over here has a uh, 1600 lumens with almost just a hair under 51,000 candela. The mod light here has 1350 lumens with 54,000 candela. All right, because this light is a sort of a tactical esque light, I have a target set up down there by that uh, tanker down there. It's about 100 yards away. You can see it fairly well on camera. And as you can see, this is the uh, this is the comp tack here, lighting it up pretty decently well. A whole lot of spill, quite a lot of spill as you can see coming around it. But you can see that target pretty darn well over there. Now let's cut off the comp tack and we're going to cut into the Mod Light PLH V2. So there we go, the Mod Light PLH V2. In person, I'm not sure about on camera, in person, there really isn't that much difference between the two. I can still see the target pretty well. You can see a bit of the uh, spill. The Mod Light here has, I think you can tell pretty well on camera, the Mod Light has much more, it seems like it's more focused on intensity and not so much on the uh, the spill rather, comparing them in person. It seems like there's more brightness on the spill with the uh, with the compact, but here they are side by side. Right here on the right, this is the uh, compact, this is the mod light. And just for one last comparison, you can see how important that uh, candela is, the intensity is for a, again, like a quote unquote tactical esque light. This is the Warrior Mini from Olight you're looking at. And this has 1500 lumens, so very similar to the compact, which has 1600, but Unlike the CompTAC, which again has like 51,000 roughly candela, this has only 9,000, I believe. And on screen, you can see very well, it is significantly less intense. In person, I can barely even tell there's a target down there at all. So 100 yards away for or any kind of like long distance identification sort of tasks, you really want a light that has a, a oh, hit the camera a little bit, but you really do want a light that has slightly more intensity like the CompTAC here. So we come to durability testing. How rugged is the LA Police Gear Compact? As you can see, I'm recording this little clip uh, after I've actually done all the durability testing, but you'll see how it does here in a second. So durability testing. I generally start out my durability testing with some drop tests. I did most of them, I believe all of them actually, from at least shoulder height. Me being 5'8", say that puts it roughly at about five foot in the air. Now, it did pretty, pretty reasonably well. It was going pretty well up until, as you should be seeing on screen, uh-oh, the lens did, in fact, crack from my drop testing, which is absolutely unfortunate. However, I also understand, however, I also can recognize the fact that the CompTAC is only rated for one meter drop testing, whereas, as I said, figure roughly five feet for shoulder height drops. All of my drops were above what this thing was rated for. So the lens did crack, but it's kind of understandable. I can't really be that upset. I pushed it farther than it was meant to be pushed. Now, after drop testing, it still worked perfectly fine, cracked lens and all. So I moved on to the next part of my uh, unofficial durability testing sort of lineup, which is going to be running it over. So I ran it over with my Chevy Silverado a couple times on uh, both gravel and concrete. Perfectly fine. No issues at all, as you should be seeing. Wrapping up my durability testing is a test I came up with called the practice test. It is where I take whatever I am reviewing, in this case, the LA Police Gear Compact. I tether it up behind one of my Tractus RC trucks, in this case, a Tractus Stampede. And the Tractus trucks are, for the record, sort of pretty expensive hobby-grade RC trucks. They're the kinds that adults play with. They can get to 30, 60 miles per hour. And I will generally run whatever I am reviewing over a 
gravel range, maybe a uh, gravel parking lot or a concrete parking lot, something like that, letting the gravel kind of jostle around, ding into, scratch up, beat up the light, in this case, the light. And after the Traxxas test, unfortunately, the lens did, in fact, break. However, once again, as you should be seeing, it is still working perfectly fine. So now after all of that durability testing, it's beat up, scuffed up, lens is completely gone. However, it still works. It's still, as you can see, still working perfectly fine. So I'm going to give it a pass, kind of a hesitant-ish pass because the lens broke, so it didn't pass the flying colors. However, after all of it, it's still trucking, so I can't say that it failed. Very final test for the LA Police Gear Compact Flashlight. This is after everything else has been done, which means the lens is gone. And uh, because LA Police Gear told me, time buddy, LA Police Gear told me they will not send me a new lens, which I, I went outside their warranty when I broke it, so I can't be upset. I figured, let's test how what kind of weather resistance or water resistance you get when you don't have a lens. Now, I'm not going to risk my precious koi again with a open electrical circuit in here because I'm pretty positive. You got to move, buddy, so they can see what's going on. I'm pretty positive this is just going to destroy the light. But who knows? Let's find out. So it does work. Oh, God damn it. No, stop it. It's going to be electrified. All right, let's put, no, let's put it in there. Let's just see what happens. It's still fucking on. So, bubbles, some, some bubbles are coming up out of the lens. Air is escaping the lens. Okay, so. If my reaction has not made it very clear, I am absolutely blown away. I was 90% positive this was just going to destroy this light, but it didn't. It's Cat, yeah, you're in the way again, buddy. You got to move. I'm trying to record videos here. The people want to know. Still works. Other cat, you're, you're, you're in the way too. The people still want to know. It still works. There is literally water inside the lens right now. Wrapping up some pros and cons on the LA Police Gear Comp Pack. Some pros. Uh, number one's the price, obviously, like 40 bucks for a semi-serious use, sort of like a backup serious use light, 40 bucks is not much. Can you spend like $8 at Walmart and get a light? Yeah, are you also probably gonna get a completely trash light that holds no candle at all to this? Absolutely, so 40 bucks is a very, very reasonable price. It's a very good price for this. Other pros, I do like how bright it is, obviously, the two kind of go together. For how for 40 bucks you get an incredibly bright light. Again, in the beam comparison, what did I compare it against? A mod light, which cost over three around or over 300 bucks. Pretty big price difference there. Another thing I do like about it is the illumination modes. So the tactical mode, if you are using it in a more really serious role, and as soon as you hit that tail switch, it's not in tactical mode now. Imagine it was. But as soon as you hit that tail switch, you get that super blinded, super blinding, full power light, you can have it in tactical mode. Or if you're using it in more of like a utility mode, like around the campsite, or uh, in a bug out bag or emergency bag, something like that, something where you're, you're realistically not going to need all that light every single time immediately, you have the illumination mode. I do like how it has those options. For the price, it is also pretty darn durable. Yes, the lens broke, which is obviously unfortunate. However, as you should have just seen in that final test, 
testing the water resistance with a that lens. I'm not like an engineer or an electrician to be totally uh, obviously clear about this, but I didn't believe for a second this thing would work. And the fact that it does, no lens, water getting inside the system, it still works. It blows me away. Now for the cons, I genuinely don't really have any serious ones. The only semi-serious con you could say I have is the lens, obviously. The lens broke, which is less than ideal. Now, I also recognize the fact that in the durability testing, the drops I did were I'm about 5'8", roughly. All of the drops I did were pretty much shoulder height, which means they are all, at the very least, all of them were higher than the one meter impact distance this is rated for. So I cracked the lens when I pushed it farther than it was meant to be pushed. The Traxxas test, which is a pretty harsh test also, ended up breaking the lens. Now, that's unfortunate. However, I gotta say, with that final test I did, that final water test, even that's not really that big a deal, you know? Even if you broke the lens, it is still seemingly in completely working order. Other than that, like I said, super like nitpicky stuff. Like there's really no texturing at all. This texturing on the body is like not texture at all. When it's wet like it is right now, it's so slick it might as well not even be textured. I'm not a big fan of the pocket clip. It, it isn't low ride or it isn't deep carry for one so this entire head sticks out. I don't really like how it dips in right there. I've just never liked pocket clips that do that. However, I also recognize the fact that given kind of the style of tactical light that it is with this wider head, I don't know if it's really meant exactly to be carried much inside a pocket. So I kind of think that the fact they even included a pocket clip is kind of a bonus. But all the same, I really am not a fan of it. So if you were in the market for a more budget uh, tactical light, the LA Police Gear Compact is someone something you should definitely consider. Durable, bright as hell, extremely reasonable price. What what more could you want? If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hit and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Leave in the comments below any other flashlights or gear you'd like to see me review, and I'll look into getting it. So yeah. LA Police Gear Compact Flashlight, I gotta give a thumbs up. I'm the Cow Car 131, signing off.